Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another one of my classic gear videos. Uh, this one is for Red Rocks. I've been climbing a lot at Red Rocks. Um, past, I've had a couple trips there. I'm getting ready to go uh, there for the month of April. And so, just threw all my gear out and decided to make a video about it. I don't have any gear list for Red Rocks. Uh, one thing that's worth mentioning is it's a big climbing area, and so sport climbers, boulders, uh, multi-pitch climbers, and people who enjoy doing all of it uh, definitely go there. And um, yeah, you just kind of need a lot of gear for Red Rocks. I kind of brought the kitchen sink, or I'm going to bring the kitchen sink. So I'll just get started over here. Backpacks, I, just, uh, I have two right here, but I'm actually going to bring a few more. Um, there's a 24 liter. And then this is the classic uh, 35 Creek Pack. Um, those are probably the two that I use the most at Red Rocks, but I'm also gonna bring like a 40 liter uh, Crag Pack and um, a smaller on-route pack, like a 20 or a 15 liter, and then maybe a 30 liter for different objectives. I don't wanna bring a pack that's too big for whatever I'm gonna climb. Oh, so you got my medical kit, um, that's kind of Big thing I always have with me, uh, just the Adventure Medical Kit 0.9 and a splint is underneath it. Uh, harness, it's nice for red rocks, especially if you're doing multi-pitch climbing, you have a nice thick padded harness uh, that can still pack down well for your backpack. Uh, just because there's a lot of hanging belays there and your hips will thank you for it. I just got a big amount of quick draws right here. These are the quick draws I use for longer routes, obviously I got the I think that's 12 Alpine draws and like 12 Sport Lightweight Oz draws right there. Uh, I mainly use those for, yeah, longer climbs. Because I have these beefy quick draws, is another 12 um, Sport quick draws that I use for sport climbing because I don't care about how many burrs or other problems those get because uh, I have my nice ones right here. And then uh, ropes, as far as ropes go, I have a lot of ropes here because I am going to do a bit of guiding while I'm down there. And so I have my two guiding ropes right here, which are two 60 meter 9.2 sterling arrows. Then I have a tagline that's just the BD 6 mil, like 65 meter tagline uh, for when I'm climbing on my own. And then I have a 70 meter um, sterling nano 9 for anytime I need a 70 meter rope. I'm also underneath these quick draws in the rope bag is a beater 60 meter uh, single rope and I use that for sport climbing and then I have it in the, the bag for the sake of because it's sport climbing. That purple rope I'm not bringing that's just on the ground. Um, moving on to shoes. Uh, I just have a pair of approach shoes right there. Nice lightweight approach shoes, very nice for putting in your backpack or putting on the harness for um, when you're climbing. And then these also climb pretty well for when I climb in my approach shoes. I got my Daily Doers, TC Pros, those are probably the shoes I wear the most. And then for my hard projects there, I got my Instinct VS's. And actually, I also got Instincts too. I haven't used these that much right now, so they'll be nice and new for this trip. Then I also got my two chalk bags. One for longer routes with a chalk ball, one with loose chalk for projing. Alright, moving on to the cams. So like I said, for Red Rocks, you gotta bring on, you gotta have a lot of gear with you. And so the trad routes, I'm pretty much prepared for anything. I just brought the kitchen sink. And um, it's worth keeping in mind that if you're doing these long pitches and you're also ending with a trad anchor, it's nice to have triples in some sizes so you have enough to adequately protect the pitch and then also for your anchor. So that's why I have this amount of this selection. Uh, it's nice to have one five while you're at Red Rocks. Most routes, or there are a number of routes that require you to have a five with you. Six, it's not as common, but there are some routes where it's good to have a six with you. Um, it's nice to have two number fours because, uh, again, there are a number of routes where if you need one number four, oftentimes you'll need two number fours. And so it's nice to have two number fours. And then we go on to triples, three threes, three twos, three ones, three seven fives, 
0.5s, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, all triples of those because um, it's just nice to have. Red Rocks will eat up this stuff. Um, you don't really, I feel like you don't really use as many of these guys, but it does depend on what you're climbing. And then of course I also have my rack of aliens, which is kind of doubles of all these right here. So actually I kind of more have four of these sizes with me. I do like climbing a lot of routes with small gear, so it's kind of nice if I want to hop on like a finger crack or something like that. It's nice to have extras of small gear. And then I, and along with that, I have extra micro cams. These guys, uh, X4.3 to 0.1. And then a couple of offsets. I got the 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and the 0.1, 0 0.2 X4 offsets. And so um, that's pretty much all the cams I'm bringing. Again, it's a lot, but it's nice that when you go climbing with your friends, they have gear too, so you can um, you don't need all that on your own. Um, stoppers. Red Rocks takes a lot of stoppers, especially if you go with the book recommendations. A lot of times they'll recommend a less amount of gear because the idea is that you place a lot of stoppers. So I got plenty of stoppers here. This is a full set. I may bring some extras and then an offset stopper set right there. Got the guidebook. This is the one I use. This is the one everyone uses. The Red Rocks book climber's guide by the... who is that? Jerry Handron. Uh, that's a great book. Um, I'm gonna bring a helmet. Well, this guy, hopefully I'll get the GoPro all working so I can actually have some climbing footage. And then here's kind of just a bunch of stuff I threw on the ground. Extra devices, nice in case I lose one of those, my rescue cord. Gree gree. Again, since I am going to be doing some guiding, I got my GG set up. Third hand double link sling. This uh, link is really nice for repelling off those long technical routes. Two quads, you know, my usual set of lockers, You're not one, but two ATC setups. Uh, I guess an extra locker right there. And this is something I just got, or I've, um, yeah, I haven't had it for too long at least. This is the Beal Escaper. So in case uh, I'm climbing with one person and one rope on a route that you would need two ropes to repel off of, and um, in an emergency, I mean, and it's a walk off usually, if we have to bail on the route for whatever specific reason, I can have this in my backpack and then we can actually escape off the route. So, oh, and parabole gloves. I don't think I mentioned those. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I bring to Red Rocks with me on any given trip. Um, yeah, it's a lot, but luckily, uh, if you organize trips with your friends, you'll be able to put all the gear together. And I've been doing this for a while, so I can bring a bunch of extra stuff that I've happened to accumulate over the years, but you definitely don't need all this crap for climbing in Red Rocks. It's a great place. Everyone should go there at least once in their life. If you want any more beta on anything involving it, or if you bring any certain objects to Red Rocks that, I, that you don't see here, please leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.